strike up the band because we are about to take you on a mind-bending family trip to Stockholm, Sweden. It definitely will give you vertigo if you're not careful. We'll show you the best ways to see this city and keep your kiddos educated and entertained at the same time. Pretty cool. There is no shortage of cool things to see. Even the train stations here are art museums. Who knew? Oh, and it is definitely one of the cleanest subway stations I've ever seen. The secret to keeping kids enthralled here? A really old shipwreck, a really new kind of kids museum, and a really tasty tradition. And it's also just fun. It is a Nobel Prize worthy itinerary as we take the crown jewel of Scandinavia by storm. We're talking about Stockholm, Sweden, and we're taking you there in this episode of Window Seat. All right, bags are packed, Uber's on the way, and we are about to embark on our first ever family European vacation. Wish us luck. It is the perennial parental pickle. You want to see the world, you want your kids to see the world, but you know traveling with children ain't always easy. We knew that going into our first ever family Euro trip. First stop, Stockholm. So we planned ahead. Priority one, a kid-friendly hotel that was centrally located and had cool stuff for children to do. We'll tell you more about the place we found coming up. Priority two, in addition to the cool historic places to see here, gotta mix in some cool kid-oriented stuff to keep them engaged. We hit the bullseye with this museum, which we'll tell you about. Because the only thing better than one of you is like a trillion of you, right? And priority number three, sweets. You can always bribe and re-energize children with sweets. Lucky for us, there's an age-old tradition in this part of the world, and sweets are at its very core. <laughs> Let's jump right in with the coolest things to see and do for adults and kids alike. And it doesn't get any cooler than this, the Vasa Museum, a unique maritime treasure. You are looking at a ship that sank 395 years ago. First thing that came to mind when I saw this ship was Titanic because it sat at the bottom of the ocean forever and ever. But there are other similarities too. It turns out this ship actually sank on its maiden voyage as well back in 1628. The old Viking ship has been remarkably restored and preserved inside this massive museum, and your kids are bound to marvel at the sheer grandeur of the old warship, which was once an emblem of Swedish naval prowess. The intricate craftsmanship, the ornate carvings, she may not be seaworthy, but she will definitely transport you back in time to the height of the Swedish Empire. Inside the museum, you'll learn all about the ill-fated maiden voyage, the construction, the crew, and the series of calamitous events that led to its sinking just moments after first setting sail. Plus, see how she was recovered from the depths of Stockholm's harbor and brought back to life. There is a gift shop, of course, if you want to bring back a memento or two, and we have a link to the museum's website in the description below so you can start planning your visit here. If you are a history buff in any way, you're going to love that museum. It is definitely worth checking out should be stop number one on your visit to Stockholm. And here's stop number two. And number two is an attraction that actually came to us, the highly celebrated Midday Royal Music Parade. This majestic parade of royal musicians stopped the city in its tracks with its daily pilgrimage to the Royal Palace, along the way entertaining tourists and locals alike. The procession is a time-honored tradition that celebrates the musical heritage of Sweden while showcasing the grandeur of the royal court. The tradition dates back to the days of the Swedish monarchy when royal musicians would perform in public to delight the kids and the crowds. These days, it is a glimpse into the past. Musicians marching in synchronicity en route to the palace grounds where the concert continues. As you follow their procession, listening to the music as it fills the air, you suddenly realize you are now in the heart of old Stockholm, just outside the Royal Palace, a 600-room marvel that happened to be under construction during our visit. But it is a must-see for families here, a journey through history and elegance. Here in the courtyard in front of the Royal Palace, you'll see a guard standing watch all of the time, and there's all these old uh, cannons uh, in the background, too, and you can see they've covered the cannon hole. With this, I don't know what else you'd call that thing. <laughs> with covered. this, with the Swedish flag, kind of fun. And now that you're here, you are just steps away from Gamlestan. No trip to Stockholm is complete without stopping here. This is the iconic red, yellow, and orange building backdrop you've seen all over social media. The place is touristy as heck, of course, because everybody's seen these colorful buildings on Instagram and they rush here to take their pictures in front of them. And so you're gonna be dodging, you know, people with uh, 
with those selfie sticks and everything else the whole time you're here, but that's okay. And there's ways around it. They say if you get here early in the morning, first thing before the city wakes up, you're good to go. You'll get a great picture with no tourists in the way. It's cobblestone streets, colorful buildings, and charming boutiques create an enchanting experience for young and old alike. And it's home to the Nobel Museum, offering a chance to learn more about the prestigious Nobel Prize. The district dates back to the 13th century and serves as a time capsule for life in ancient Sweden. The place oozes with history. There's really not a bad time of day to visit Gamlestan, the old town. Uh, no matter when you're here, there's going to be big crowds, lots of people, lots to do. But I would suggest the afternoon because then you can partake in a little thing called fika. Fika translates to take a break or have a coffee, and it is a centuries-old Swedish tradition. It involves taking a break, usually in the afternoon, and surrounding yourself with good company and indulging in a Swedish treat that usually looks like this. All right, so this is sort of the famous fika roll. It's sort of like a cinnamon roll, they say. It's like a kind of a cinnamon twist bun. So it's basically like a cinnamon roll. It tastes just like one. Really nice, fresh, light, great way to sort of pep up your afternoon. It's good stuff. The delectable pastries are a staple of Stockholm and the kids will love them. My son could not get enough. Plying your kiddos with sugar might not win you parent of the year honors, but it will provide your kids with the energy to keep going on this European adventure. And they'll need it for the next stop. There are only so many old museums and ancient neighborhoods to keep a kid entertained. Sometimes you need some good old fashioned fun, which is precisely what the Paradox Museum provides. Located in the heart of Stockholm, it is a journey into the world of wonder, illusion, and mind-bending experiences, and it is a must-visit for kids. This is not your typical museum. It's a playground for the mind, a place where reality twists, turns, and surprises around every corner. It has some very trippy exhibits like this room where it feels like you're spinning, but in reality there's just a drum around you that is spinning. It definitely will give you vertigo if you're not careful. <laughs> but it's really fun, and the kids are going to love it. Inside these walls, prepare to have your senses challenged and your perceptions altered by a series of optical illusions that are bound to bewilder your friends and Instagram followers back home. The interactive exhibits create a space where the imagination runs wild, and it's designed with kids in mind. Every exhibit will captivate their attention and spark their creativity. And they've got this cool infinity room, too, because the only thing better than one of you is like a million of you, right? Pretty cool. Tickets run about 20 bucks US for adults, 16.50 or so for kids. We put a link to the museum's website in the video description below so you can start planning your visit. Believe me, we all had fun here and you'll definitely want to make this place part of your plans. Of course, when you're with kids, you got to keep the entertainment coming and your hotel choice can make a big difference in this department too. We booked our stay at the centrally located downtown camper hotel because it looked really cool on the website and kid friendly too, and it was. The design is creative, the rooms are cool, the breakfast was amazing, it appealed to even the pickiest kid's appetite, and the small touches made it fun. Look at this, looming right above the lobby is this kid's net zone. Children can go up top, lounge on the pillows, read a book, or climb and explore, all while you monitor them from below. The kids actually asked to go back to the hotel to play during a break from sightseeing. That shows you this hotel must be doing something right. We got nothing for free in exchange for mentioning this hotel, by the way. It's just so perfect, we wanted to share it with you. And we do have a link to Downtown Camper's website in the video description below in case you want to book a stay. All right, this next one shows you just how kid-friendly Stockholm really is. Can you believe they turned their subway system into a funky art exhibit? When the Stockholm subways opened in 1950, they were looking for a way to make the station seem a little more inviting, and their solution? Public art. Hidden in the dark, cool confines of the city's underground train system is a series of murals, sculptures, and mosaics, turning your travels around town into an art adventure. This is a great thing to do with children for a few reasons. For one, it's cheap. Kids under 12 are free on the subway here in Stockholm, and for adults, it didn't cost much at all to get a couple of subway passes for the day. Two, it's cool down here, so if you visit Stockholm in the summer, it can be really hot, but come down here, it's probably 20 degrees cooler, and it's awesome. 
More than 90 subway stations here have become a forum for artistic expression, an immersive experience that your kids will love. It's been called the world's longest art gallery, and it is a child's favorite. Oh, and it is definitely one of the cleanest subway stations I've ever seen. You really are going to love the subways here, and how many cities can you really say that about? Who'd have thought a subway station would be a tourist attraction for people? This one really is, and really there's art in almost all of the subway stations here in Stockholm. From an underground museum to a floating one, your kids are bound to love our next stop too. It's free and it's fun. A series of old ships docked on the Stockholm waterfront provide a glimpse into the city's seafaring past, including the remarkable Sankt Erik. Launched in 1915, she was an icebreaker owned and operated by the city of Stockholm to keep the channels around the city free of ice in the winter. The vessel has a storied past, having navigated icy waters and played a crucial role in Sweden's maritime heritage. Now it's a window into the challenges and triumphs of Arctic exploration. As you walk on board, you are transported back in time and given an intimate glimpse into the lives of sailors who braved the harsh conditions of the Arctic seas. And the best part is it is absolutely and totally 100% free. You can't beat that, especially in a city this expensive. And there's not just one museum here. The waterfront hosts a range of floating museums, each showcasing a different aspect of life at sea. They're kid-friendly and unforgettable, so be sure to hop on board these floating time capsules and immerse yourself in Sweden's seafaring legacy. Another free stop in the city that the kids will love, Stockholm's historic and picturesque Central Train Station. It's the jumping off point for travels to pretty much every other place in Europe and its architecture is unforgettable. With its towering arches and intricate facade, it makes a lasting first impression if this is how you arrive in Stockholm or a lasting memory if this is where you say goodbye to this part of Scandinavia. Built in 1871, it's been updated with every modern convenience and now welcomes high-speed trains that will zip you all over the continent. And this place is great just for picture taking. They say about a quarter of a million people pass through Stockholm Central train station every day. It is a lot of people. The place is busy, but it's such a well-oiled machine. You'll get to your train and your tracks with no problem whatsoever. So there you have it. Just like the museum we loved so much here, Stockholm is a city of paradoxes, where local musical pride runs the gamut from ABBA to Avicii, where shopping can take you to the homegrown IKEA or some of the most high-end stores in the world, and where old-time history buffs and easily bored kids can both stay equally entertained. This city has it all for everyone. And though not the cheapest place to visit in Europe, you can keep the cost in line if you mix in a few freebie stops. No matter where you visit here, you will leave a little piece of your heart and you'll want to lock it away and throw away the key because Stockholm is the crown jewel of Northern Europe and a must visit for any family on a European vacation. Bottom line, it's one of the most amazing cities in Scandinavia, heck, all of Europe for that matter, and it's a great place to visit with family and even young children. So make your way to Stockholm, you will not regret it. That's it for this episode of Window Seat. I'm Jeremy Hubbard here in Stockholm. We'll see you next time. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Please like and share and leave a message in the comments if we left something off the list or if there's something we should include in our next Sweden video. And of course, please hit subscribe as we continue our travels all over the world. We're back with a brand new episode next Friday. In the meantime, please check out one of these other episodes from Window Seat.